had a good cry this morning Just the Lord Jesus Christ and me I was in God's word And my soul was assured That Jesus understands thoroughly For the Bible says more than one time That our Savior Jesus wept Oh, I know He cares And my burden He shares Every promise in the Bible He's kept He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you The one who cried is the same one who died, proving he'll be with us to the end. The tears of the Savior remind us of our great high priest on the throne, for he knows our frame and even knows our name. And we are never alone Cast all your cares on Jesus For He careth for you Don't be ashamed of your tears nor of your weakness and fears Jesus understands thoroughly He felt everything you're feeling Yes, our Savior Jesus wept No, you're never alone Never left on your own Every promise in the Bible He's kept He said I'll never leave you nor forsake you I'll be your constant friend Yes, the one who cried Is the same one who died He'll be with you to the end The tears of the Savior remind us of a great high priest on the throne For he knows our frame and even knows our name And we are never alone Yes, he knows our frame And he even knows our name And we are never alone Never Alone. I wrote that song on the morning of my sister's memorial service. She passed on to glory, and we flew out to be there for the service of memory and to conduct it. As I rose early in the morning, a song was, was going through my mind. No one understands like Jesus. And the, that little phrase, that motif, stuck in my mind, and God began to give me some words, and I wrote these down, and I wrote the whole song in about, oh, five or ten minutes. Had a good cry this morning, just the Lord Jesus Christ in me. I was in God's Word, and my soul was assured that Jesus understands thoroughly. That's it. The Bible says that Jesus wept. And as the God-man, He felt everything that we feel. On this particular session of From the Shepherd to the Sheep, I want to talk to you about a very important aspect of Christian living, and that is coming to terms with loss, pain, 
challenging times, we can, by God's grace, not only get through <clears throat> and survive, but we can thrive. I want to challenge you today <clears throat> to stop allowing the problems of life to be stumbling stones and instead, by the grace of God, make stepping stones, steps to growth, steps to progress. It says in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 14, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore, here's what we're supposed to do, come boldly under the throne of grace. Be uh, bold beggars, one commentator has said, come to the throne of grace, pray, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And that's not only for our own needs, but for the needs of our loved ones, friends, and those whose path we cross and we want to be a help and we want to be a, an effective prayer warrior. We can come boldly into the presence of of our great high priest, it says, we have not an high priest which cannot be touched. So the double negative means this, that we do have a high priest who can be touched. He is touched. He feels everything that we feel. He understands thoroughly. We're never alone. Every promise in the Bible, he's kept. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can start today to be victorious, not victims, but victorious. I pray for every Christian who has had a carnal sense of being crippled or handicapped spiritually, when in reality you've allowed those things, those losses, those painful experiences to help us to grow and become stronger. Lord, we confess our failure to do that and ask now for your grace to help us to grow stronger, to step up, and to help others who need comfort as well. With heads bowed and eyes closed, maybe you're that one right now. You need to pray asking God's forgiveness and for His help to become stronger. Maybe you're an unsaved person. You don't even know that you're going to heaven. Well, then right now, won't you call on Jesus and ask Him in your heart, say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart, save me right now, and take me to heaven when I die. And as your personal Savior, Jesus will make all things brand new from the inside out. And you're going to begin to grow and, and experience wonderful things. Let us know that you've been saved. And if you're a soul winner, let us know that you're out there in the harvest and you're winning lost folks to Christ in these challenging days. These are days of opportunity. Whatever you're going through right now, in the midst of that trial, thank the Lord anyway where for who He is and anyway for uh, the fact that you can come through this and not just survive but thrive. And Lord, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Tears of the Savior remind us of our great high priest on the throne. The tears of the Savior remind us of our great high priest on the throne for he knows our frame he even knows our name and we are never alone no one understands like Jesus God bless you You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.